What's up? This is Atark here from SmartBuyTrainers.com. Okay, Wahoo announced a relaunch of the indoor cycling app, the Sufferfest, and rebranded it to Wahoo System, but there's a lot more than just a rebranding. As you probably know, a little over two years ago, Wahoo Fitness, a company known for smart bike trainers, heart rate monitors, bike computers, announced the acquisition of the Sufferfest, who one of the most popular indoor cycling apps and known for its entertaining cycling workout videos and comprehensive training plans. Since the acquisition, we haven't seen much happening with the Sufferfest. We've heard a lot about expanding the app into different platforms such as Android and Apple TV, but we haven't seen much activities from them since. And we were left wondering what is Wahoo going to do with the Sufferfest app and how they plan on integrating it into their ecosystem. So today, Wahoo is taking that first major step into that direction by rebranding the app, adding new features, and rides and finally launching an Android version, which you can go and download today from the Google Play Store. I've used the Android version a little bit and it seems to work, but most of my testing was done on iOS beta version using my iPad. So let's jump into the app and talk about what's new and what changed. But before we do that, if you find this video helpful, please take a quick short second to hit the like button. It helps the video and the channel a lot and also subscribe so you do not miss any videos from me in the future. Okay, first, the name. Wahoo rebranded the app from the Sufferfest to System without the E to fit into Wahoo's way of branding their devices. Uh, this is probably the most impactful change. The Sufferfest built a brand around cycling and suffering and really hard workouts, but Wahoo wanted to make System a comprehensive training platform with not just cycling, but a full training platform to make you a well-rounded cyclist with workouts such as yoga, mental training, strength, swimming, and running. So they wanted to let go of that suffering mantra and wanted to make it a more inviting platform and welcoming for people who want to do really hard workouts and suffer and other people who want to get in there and get a good workout without beating themselves up. The Sufferfest brand will remain, but it's lumped under the Wahoo system so for example, you will see the Sufferfest category or channel with all the Sufferfest films and story plots that you are familiar with. So the app itself looks like a Wahoo app with Wahoo system logo, Wahoo blue colors and integrates with Wahoo's login. Okay, so what changed? Let's start with the homepage. On the homepage, you will see your calendar uh, with today's workout if you are enrolled in a plan, tomorrow's workout and yesterday's workout. On the left menu, you will see calendar. This is where you will find all the workouts you did and future workouts if you are enrolled in a plan. Then you have the library. This is where you will find all the workouts nicely categorized so you can explore by category or channel. And this is where you will see the Sufferfest video workout channel, GCN, a getting started category to get you familiar with system, uh, fitness tests, and other channels. Then you have the plan section. This part has been updated from the old way of creating plans. So you will go through different questions to help create your plan. So you can create an event-based workout plan or do just a general fitness plan. They do have over 500 different variation of these plans to fit everyone's fitness goals. Then you have the progress section. This is where you will find all the different badges you earned Anything you earned in the past with the Sufferfest or using the Sufferfest app should transition into here. Okay, so now let's talk about what is new other than the name change and the new app with the new look. The calendar is all new and now you have a full ca calendar showing your past workouts, today's workout and future workouts. If you subscribe to a plan, you will see all the plan workouts right here. Uh, if you press on a previous workout you did, you will see basic analytics page with activity summary, power data, heart rate, cadence, etc. If you have a workout on the calendar, you can just tap on that workout and start the ride from there directly. If you press on the list view on the top right corner, you should see a list view of the calendar, but with a week by week summary view, which I did not see looking at the calendar view. And here you can see which plan you are enrolled in if you are enrolled in a plan. They also added a week with. Basically, it lets you spend a week with a famous Wahooligans. Uh, right now, they have two personalities there and Wahoo plans on adding more. You can spend a week with Wahoo's head of sports science and coach Neil Henderson, or I am Boswell, a former Grand Tour rider. The full week with will be inserted into your calendar and you can find it under uh, the plans under cycling and you will see a full week with and you can add it to your calendar. 
and you'll be able to do the workout with them. A pretty cool and a fun way to break things up and learn a thing or two. So for example, in the week with Coach Neil, you will spend a session at the Velodrome and he will introduce you to the Velodrome and do a little paceline workout with you. And he will also talk about uh, how he spends his time gardening to family walks. In the library section, you'll find a whole channel called A Week With, with all the different rides included in The Week With if you just want to do these rides rather than adding the whole thing to your calendar. Back to the library. There is a new Pro Rides channel. These are footage from real Pro Peloton rides with real power data from these rides scaled to your 4DP power profile. They currently have eight different Pro rides. Uh, these are hard workouts. They range from 0.78 to 0.87 intensity factor and go from one hour to two hours and 10 minutes. The final channel is the on location. This includes some iconic cycling routes uh, usually combined with structured workout. So it's a pretty cool way to get a solid workout while enjoying some beautiful videos of really cool places. Hello, this is Mike Cotty, and today we're on location in the beautiful French Pyrenees, right next to the Spanish border. We're starting in the town of Luzon Sauveur, and we're tackling one of my all-time favorite roads in the area, up to the World Heritage Site of Cirque de Gavani. The sun is shining, the temperature is warm, and the wind is on our back, so conditions are absolutely perfect. Right now, they have eight different on-location rides and Wahoo plans on adding many more. They are also working on a new podcast series called The Knowledge Podcast with Coach Neil Henderson that talks about cycling and how to become a better athlete. Uh, a few things they are also working on and should be coming soon to the app. A more advanced analytics page. Right now, you have a very basic view of your rides but they are working on a more advanced page to view and do more analysis of your rides rather than relying on a different app like Strava or Training Peaks. The other thing they are working on is outside ride. So if you want to venture outside in the real world, you should be able to take some of these structured workout with you. I believe they are going to start with the Wahoo element by computer and expand them to other devices like Garmin. I'm not sure when these will be added to the app, but hopefully we'll see them coming soon. So this is the all new Wahoo system. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What do you think of the new brand? Uh, anything you're excited about and looking forward to trying? The price, by the way, will remain the same, $14.99 per month or $129 per year. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please take a quick second to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you made it this far in this video and have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.